George Soros Hun FBA, born George Schwartz, August 12, 1930, is a Hungarian-American businessman and philanthropist. As of March 2021, he had a net worth of 8.6 billion US dollars, having donated more than $32 billion to the Open Society Foundations, of which $15 billion has already been distributed, representing 64% of his original fortune. Forbes called him the most generous giver, in terms of percentage of net worth. Born in Budapest, to a non-observant Jewish family, Soros survived the Nazi occupation of Hungary and moved to the United Kingdom in 1947. He studied at the London School of Economics and was awarded a Bastet in Philosophy in 1951, and then a Master of Science degree, also in Philosophy, in 1954. Soros began his business career by taking various jobs at merchant banks in the United Kingdom, and then the United States, before starting his first hedge fund, Double Eagle, in 1969. Profits from his first fund furnished the seed money to start Soros Fund Management, his second hedge fund, in 1970. Double Eagle was renamed to Quantum Fund and was the principal firm Soros advised. At its founding, Quantum Fund had $12 million in assets under management, and as of 2011 it had $25 billion, the majority of Soros's overall net worth. Soros is known as the man who broke the Bank of England, because of his short sale of $10 billion US dollars worth of pounds sterling, which made him a profit of $1 billion during the 1992 Black Wednesday UK currency crisis. Soros is a supporter of progressive and liberal political causes, to which he dispenses donations through his foundation, the Open Society Foundations. Between 1979 and 2011, he donated more than $11 billion to various philanthropic causes. By 2017, his donations on civil initiatives to reduce poverty and increase transparency, and on scholarships and universities around the world, totaled $12 billion. He influenced the fall of communism in Eastern Europe in the late 1980s and early 1990s, and provided one of Europe's largest higher education endowments to the Central European University in his Hungarian hometown. His extensive funding of political causes has made him a bugaboo of European nationalists. The New York Times reported in October 2018 that conspiracy theories about him have gone mainstream to nearly every corner of the Republican Party. Numerous American conservatives have promoted false claims that characterize Soros as a singularly dangerous puppet master behind many alleged global plots. Conspiracy theories targeting Soros, who is of Jewish descent, have often been described as anti-Semitic. Early Life and Education Soros was born in Budapest in the Kingdom of Hungary to a prosperous non-observant Jewish family, who, like many upper-middle-class Hungarian Jews at the time, were uncomfortable with their roots. Soros has wryly described his home as a Jewish anti-Semitic home. His mother Elizabeth, also known as Elizabeth, came from a family that owned a thriving silk shop. His father Tivadar, also known as Theodoro Svark, was a lawyer and a well-known Esperanto speaker, who edited the Esperanto literary magazine Literatura Mondo, and raised his son to speak the language. Tivadar had also been a prisoner of war during and after World War I until he escaped from Russia and rejoined his family in Budapest. The two married in 1924. In 1936, Soros's family changed their name from the German Jewish, Schwartz to Soros, as protective camouflage in increasingly anti-Semitic Hungary. Tivadar liked the new name because it is a palindrome and because of its meaning. In Hungarian, Soros means next in line, or designated successor, in Esperanto it means will soar. Soros was 13 years old in March 1944 when Nazi Germany occupied Hungary. The Nazis barred Jewish children from attending school, and Soros and the other schoolchildren were made to report to the Judenrat, Jewish Council, which had been established during the occupation. Soros later described this time to writer Michael Lewis, the Jewish Council asked the little kids to hand out the deportation notices. 
I was told to go to the Jewish council. And there I was given these small slips of paper, I took this piece of paper to my father. He instantly recognized it. This was a list of Hungarian Jewish lawyers. He said, you deliver the slips of paper and tell the people that if they report they will be deported. I'm not sure to what extent he knew they were going to be gassed. I did what my father said. Soros did not return to that job, his family survived the war by purchasing documents to say that they were Christians. Later that year at age 14, Soros posed as the Christian godson of an official of the collaborationist Hungarian government's Ministry of Agriculture, who himself had a Jewish wife in hiding. On one occasion, rather than leave the 14-year-old alone, the official took Soros with him while completing an inventory of a Jewish family's confiscated estate. Tibidar saved not only his immediate family but also many other Hungarian Jews, and Soros later wrote that 1944 had been the happiest year of his life, for it had given him the opportunity to witness his father's heroism. In 1945, Soros survived the siege of Budapest, in which Soviet and German forces fought house to house through the city. George and his mother also spent some time hiding with the family of Elsa Brandeis, and even attended their Lutheran church with them. When he was 17, Soros relocated to Paris before eventually moving to England. There he became a student at the London School of Economics. While a student of the philosopher Karl Popper, Soros worked as a railway porter and as a waiter, and once received £40 from a Quaker charity. Soros would sometimes stand at Speaker's Corner lecturing about the virtues of internationalism in Esperanto, which he had learned from his father. After graduating, he wanted to stay in the university and work as a professor but his grades were not high enough, prompting him to work for an investment firm in London. Soros also obtained a Bachelor of Science in Philosophy in 1951, and a Master of Science in Philosophy in 1954 from the London School of Economics. Investment Career Early Business Experience In a discussion at the Los Angeles World Affairs Council in 2006, Alvin Schuster, former foreign editor of the Los Angeles Times, asked, Soros, how does one go from an immigrant to a financier? When did you realize that you knew how to make money? Soros replied, well, I had a variety of jobs and I ended up selling fancy goods on the seaside, souvenir shops, and I thought, that's really not what I was cut out to do. So, I wrote to every managing director in every merchant bank in London, got just one or two replies, and eventually that's how I got a job in a merchant bank. Singer and Friedlander in 1954, Soros began his financial career at the merchant bank Singer and Friedlander of London. He worked as a clerk and later moved to the arbitrage department. A fellow employee, Robert Meyer, suggested he apply at his father's brokerage house, F.M. Meyer of New York. F.M. Meyer. In 1956, Soros moved to New York City where he worked as an arbitrage trader for F.M. Meyer, 1956-59. He specialized in European stocks, which were becoming popular with U.S. institutional investors following the formation of the coal and steel community, which later became the common market. Wertheim and Company In 1959, after three years at F.M. Meyer, Soros moved to Wertheim and Company he planned to stay for five years, enough time to save $500,000, after which he intended to return to England, to study philosophy. He worked as an analyst of European securities until 1963. During this period, Soros developed the theory of reflexivity to extend the ideas of his tutor at the London School of Economics, Karl Popper. Reflexivity posits that market values are often driven by the fallible ideas of participants not only by the economic fundamentals of the situation. Ideas and events influence each other in reflexive feedback loops. 
Soros argued that this process leads to markets having procyclical virtuous or vicious cycles of boom and bust, in contrast to the equilibrium predictions of more standard neoclassical economics. Arnhold and S. Bleichroder from 1963 to 1973, Soros's experience as a vice president at Arnhold and S. Bleichroder resulted in little enthusiasm for the job, business was slack following the introduction of the interest equalization tax, which undermined the viability of Soros's European trading. He spent the years from 1963 to 1966 with his main focus on the revision of his philosophy dissertation. In 1966 he started a fund with $100,000 of the firm's money to experiment with his trading strategies. In 1969, Soros set up the Double Eagle Hedge Fund with $4 million of investors' capital including $250,000 of his own money. It was based in Curaçao, Dutch Antilles. Double Eagle itself was an offshoot of Arnhold and S. Bleichroder's first Eagle Fund established by Soros and that firm's chairman Henry H. Arnhold in 1967. In 1973, the Double Eagle Fund had $12 million and formed the basis of the Soros Fund. George Soros and Jim Rogers received returns on their share of capital and 20% of the profits each year. Soros Fund Management in 1970, Soros founded Soros Fund Management, and became its chairman. Among those who held senior positions there at various times were Jim Rogers, Stanley Druckenmiller, Mark Schwartz, Keith Anderson, and Soros's two sons. In 1973, due to perceived conflicts of interest limiting his ability to run the two funds, Soros resigned from the management of the Double Eagle Fund. He then established the Soros Fund and gave investors in the Double Eagle Fund the option of transferring to that or staying with Arnhold and S. Bleichroder. It was later renamed the Quantum Fund, after the physical theory of quantum mechanics. By that time the value of the fund had grown to $12 million, only a small proportion of which was Soros's own money. He and Jim Rogers reinvested their returns from the fund, and also a large part of their 20% performance fees, thereby expanding their stake. By 1981, the fund had grown to $400 million, and then a 22% loss in that year and substantial redemptions by some of the investors reduced it to $200 million. In July 2011, Soros announced that he had returned funds from outside investors' money, valued at $1 billion, and instead invested funds from his $24.5 billion family fortune, due to changes in U.S. securities and Exchange Commission disclosure rules, which he felt would compromise his duties of confidentiality to his investors. The fund had at that time averaged over 20% per year compound returns. In 2013, the Quantum Fund made $5.5 billion, making it again the most successful hedge fund in history. Since its inception in 1973, the fund has generated $40 billion. The fund announced in 2015 that it would inject $300 million to help finance the expansion of Fen Hotels, an Argentine hotel company. The funds will develop 5,000 rooms over the next three years, throughout various Latin American countries. Personal Life Soros has been married three times and divorced twice. In 1960, he married Annalise Wichak, born January 3, 1934. Annalise was an ethnic German immigrant, who had been orphaned during the war. Although she was not Jewish, she was well liked by Soros's parents as she had also experienced the privation and displacement brought about by World War II. They divorced in 1983. They had three children. 1. Robert Daniel Soros, born 1963, the founder of the Central European University in Budapest, as well as a network of foundations in Eastern Europe. 1. In 1992, he married Melissa Robin Schiff at the Temple Emmanuel in New York City. 1. The Rabbi Dr. David Posner officiated the ceremony. 2. Andrea Soros Columbal, 
born June 11, 1965, the founder and president of Trace Foundation, established in 1993 to promote the cultural continuity and sustainable development of Tibetan communities within China. 2. She is also a founding partner and member of the board of directors of the Acumen Fund, a global venture fund that employs an entrepreneurial approach in addressing the problems of global poverty. 225. She is married to Eric Colombo, born October 26, 1963. 3. Jonathan Tivadar Soros, born September 10, 1970, a hedge fund manager and political donor. 3. In 2012, he co-founded Friends of Democracy, a super PAC dedicated to reducing the influence of money in politics. 3. In 1997, he married Jennifer and Allen, born November 26, 1969. In 1983, George Soros married Susan Weber. They divorced in 2005. They have two children. 1. Alexander Soros, born 1985, Alexander has gained prominence for his donations to social and political causes, focusing his philanthropic efforts on progressive causes that might not have widespread support. Alexander led the list of student political donors in the 2010 election cycle. 2. Gregory James Soros, born 1988, artist. In 2008, Soros met Tomiko Bolton, they married September 21, 2013. Bolton is the daughter of a Japanese-American nurse and a retired naval commander, Robert Bolton. She was raised in California, earned an MBA from the University of Miami, and runs an internet-based dietary supplement and vitamin sales company. Soros's older brother Paul Soros, a private investor and philanthropist, died on June 15, 2013. Also an engineer, Paul headed Soros Associates and established the Paul and Daisy Soros Fellowships for Young Americans. He was married to Daisy Soros, Ne Schlenger, who, like her husband, was a Hungarian Jewish immigrant, and with whom he had two sons, Peter and Jeffrey. Peter Soros was married to the former Flora Fraser, a daughter of Lady Antonia Fraser and the late Sir Hugh Fraser and a stepdaughter of the late 2000 Hive Nobel laureate Harold Pinter. Fraser and Soros separated in 2009.